Kelly Harrison, and I'm the Prevention Specialist for Dark County through We Are the Majority. It's an honor to see you all out here gathered today for this very important message. I'm actually overwhelmed because with the weather, I was a little nervous this morning of who would come out today. Thank you for making the choice to be drug and alcohol free as students, and thank you to the many parents, community members, school officials that come out to support our kids today and every day in their message to be drug and alcohol free. You all help make a brighter future for Dark County, and I'm so very proud of that. We have a panel of speakers standing before me today. We have some adults as well as some youth from our youth-led program of We Are the Majority that will speak with you. Seventh through 12th grade students have been creating many events around our community to inspire younger students to remain drug and alcohol free as well. And they use fun and exciting ways to challenge us as adults to help our kids by putting prevention methods in the works and they are sometimes a role model for us adults. I'd like to give a shout out to the groups that are here today. Raise your hand if you're here from Greenville. Ooh, way to go Greenville. Arcanum, Tri-Village, woo, and Sonia. Do we have any other schools out there? Mrs. Sinawa? All right, thank you. And I also see some people from some other communities in other counties. So raise your hand if you're from another county visiting. Woohoo! Okay, we have Provo County, we have Montgomery County. Those surrounding me will speak on our current programs, but I want to give you information about a new program that we have done with the youth leadership team, and it's called the Drug Free Driver Program. This program is for any drug, alcohol, and tobacco free 15 through 18 year old. We have partnered with American Family Insurance through Shauna Brewer to offer a discount on driving insurance for students who are volunteering to do programming and are drug and alcohol free and get a drug uh, free driver card through us. So if you see Shauna Brewer, the tent. So if you see Shauna, um, ask her more details about the program. Through Recovery and Wellness, we are, um, we are able to have staff do the drug testing and we, you have to come up on Monday through Wednesday and three days after that, three business days, you come back, we show that you're screened, you test negative for drug, alcohol, and tobacco use, and you can get your drug-free card that lasts for six months. You are subject to random drug testing during that time. And so with the drug-free driver insurance, and then also we have a goodie bag <laughs> that we're able to give you, including free gas cards and other awesome prizes, basically, for making the choice to be drug-free and taking the commitment to do this. And you'll be able to check out a goodie bag once you go through the process. There are details and flyers with more information that Shauna has with her, or you can contact our agency at Recovery and Wellness for more details on that. But we're very excited about that. We really wanna get the momentum going about people being drug and alcohol free because there's a lot of us that are in this community. Um, the next thing that I have that I would like to share is that we have a proclamation to do today. We've had a signing of a proclamation, and I will turn it over to Mayor Wilman and Grace Coakley at this time to move forward with that. Hello, everybody. <laughs> the biggest thing is for me, and I don't want to take but a couple minutes here, and because we have a couple speakers that mean so much for us to be heard, for them to hear, for us to hear them. But uh, I want to. I do appreciate so much all the support to all the students, particularly those schools that transported or the families and friends that brought everybody here today. Uh, thanks for the Greenville City, the fire department, the street department, the police department for making sure we were all safe and be able to conduct this uh, walk today. It's such a great cause. Uh, so uh, give them a great big applause. We Last year I started out a little bit uh, with a, a little hurrah and uh, 
Well, I want to say, uh, who are we? Let's say the majority of that. So, who are we? The majority! All right, great deal. So, I'm going to turn it over to Grace Cogley here. She's going to read the proclamation, and I'll end up with it, and then we'll have some other speakers. So we're proud to say that We Are the Majority Awareness Week is April 1st through the 7th of 2018. Whereas drug abuse affects every person in Dark County, Ohio, either as a family member, significant other, friend, neighbor, or employee, and whereas one of the most common misconceptions of society is that the majority of young people are making detrimental decisions that affect the rest of their lives, and whereas research has continuously shown that a vast majority of youth are, in actuality, making positive, healthy choices, and whereas statistics collected by the Drug Free Alliance show that 98.8% of teens have never done heroin, 58% have never used marijuana, and 94% have never used cocaine, and whereas recovery wellness centers, RWC, and other health professionals and advocates who support a drug-free lifestyle have joined together with the Coalition for Healthy Dark County to streamline effects concerning addi addiction while supporting our youth speak out against drug and alcohol use. And whereas Recovery and Wellness, along with peer-led We Are the Majority program, are striving to promote public understanding and awareness surrounding the act, the fact that a majority of teens do not use drugs or alcohol. Now therefore, oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> One little part at the end. And witness thereof, I have hereby described my name and caused the seal of the city uh, to be affixed this 20th day. Um, uh, that's when we were, 20th day is when we signed it and had the promotion. So, March and the end of in the year of our Lord, 2018, uh, signed by me, City Greenville Mayor, City Steve Woolman. So, thanks a lot. I'm going to do the best I can to be heard, but my voice isn't exactly cooperating today. Uh, I'm Cynthia Wyatt, I'm the CEO of Recovery and Wellness Centers of Midwest Ohio. Wow, I am so proud, I am humbled by this showing of folks from our communities. I can't tell you how proud we are at Recovery and Wellness of these We Are the Majority kids. They are out there promoting that message because that message is true. The majority of kids are drug free. I'm proud to be a part of this. I'm proud that we are a sponsor for We Are the Majority. Uh, I'm going to talk just a little bit because Kelly tells me what to do. Uh, she told me I have to talk to you about what our services are and how you access our services if you need them for yourself or for a friend or family member. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. <coughs> First of all, we do outpatient substance abuse and mental health treatment. We have two buildings here in Dark County. We have one building at 600 Walnut Street and another building at 212 East Main Street. The Walnut Street building is primarily the substance abuse treatment. The Main Street building is primarily for the mental health services. To access services, first of all, you can pick up the phone anytime or you can walk in the door anytime and someone will talk to you. We'll get you with somebody, get you scheduled with a counselor and move for whatever you need. Sometimes people come in and they just have a question. They just want advice. Uh, we get a lot of people who walk in and say, uh, my family member is doing X, what do I do? We spend a lot of time with those people, helping them find community resources for support. Uh, we do have a family of addicts here. I don't know if they're represented today, but we have family of addicts here in Dark County. We make lots of referrals over there. <clears throat> At the Walnut Street building, we do have what's called open intake times. Mondays and Wednesdays from 8.30 to 10.30 and 2 to 4.30. That means that you can walk in at that time and first come, first serve, you'll be seen by a counselor that day to start services. Again, that doesn't mean you have to come in and start services. You can come in and just get education or discuss uh, what's bothering you that day. At Main Street, those times are Tuesdays, 8.15 to 10.30 and Wednesdays, 2.15 to 3.30. So we have counselors there waiting with open schedules just to meet the needs of our community. We also have an intake line where you can make an appointment at any of our facilities. We also have a facility in Miami County over in Troy at 550 Summit Avenue. We have a, a, a building down in Eaton on Barron Street. So if you want to call, 
and just, you know, because we got some Preble County people. Uh, if, you, if you're coming from another county or if you have family from another county, they can call 423-3423, and that's the intake line. That will get you to services, whatever type of service you need in whichever county you need. You can make an appointment through that same phone number. <clears throat> well, I want to talk a little bit more because this is a youth event. At our mental health center, oops, yeah, I can't talk over that. <laughs> At our mental health center, we do have a fully boarded child psychiatrist. We have been getting a ton of calls lately for that. He is one of the few in our region that is an actual boarded child psychiatrist. So remember, if you have youth in your life that need some assistance, we also have that to offer. Um, oh, 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 if I forget this, Kelly will really be mad at me. <laughs> <clears throat> On July 14th at 9 a.m. at the Dark County Fairgrounds, Recovery and Wellness is having our first annual color run. And if anybody's ever been to a color run, they are so much fun. If you haven't been to one, um, you're just got to take a real serious shower afterwards because you're going to have every color of the rainbow on your shirt and clothes and person. <clears throat> we are calling this our Color Me Well event. Uh, these cards are at our station that we had up there by Annie Oakley, and you can also stop into any of our offices and pick that up. Uh, early bird registration is $25 by $624 and $30 after $624. You get a t-shirt if you get in before $624. So I hope to see this crowd here as well. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sharon DeChambeau. I'm president of the Dark County Chamber of Commerce, and I'm also president of the Coalition for a Healthy Dark County. The Coalition is one of the sponsors today. We're very, very proud of our youth in this county. Um, was started by the Chamber of Commerce. Our chairman, Matt Altman, um, is over here. And then he also became, he is the chairman of our coalition board. Um, the coalition website has many of the resources that Cynthia and Kelly have, have referenced today. So it's coalitiondarkcounty.com. Uh, in 2015, the, your hospital, Wayne Healthcare, and the Dark County Health Department um, commissioned and engaged Wright State University to do a study, uh, community health needs assessment. And there were three priorities that came out of that study. And the second priority was substance abuse and mental health. So um, our coalition and, and I would say many others in this county have started to focus. Um, a real big part of prevention is youth prevention. And so uh, in 2017, the coalition gave out $25,000 to eight schools, including St. Mary's Catholic School. And it was for substance abuse, <coughs> excuse me, prevention education. So these grants have allowed schools to design their own programs, to bring in speakers, um, to help teach youth um, how to make choices, um, how to, how to have other experiences in life and to support organizations like We Are the Majority. Um, they also uh, work, we also work with our school resource officers and Ryan Borowski from Greenville. Any other school resource officers here? All right, Ryan, stand up here. Um, so we also, um, that was also one of the, the goals in uh, our coalition when we originally started. Additionally, uh, to have school resource officers. Cynthia is a board member, Matt, Chief Deputy Mark Whitaker, and what I would tell you is we're so proud, again, that the majority of youth do not do drugs, and it's so important to get that message out, and as more We Are the Majority groups spring up in other schools, um, that message trickles down, because to change the culture in our county, you have to you have to begin with youth. You have to start, we're actually starting in kindergarten to start to teach about substance abuse so that we can change the culture in our community. So again, thank you for being here today. Thank you for supporting We Are the Majority and we're so proud of our youth.
Well, for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Chief Deputy Mark Whitaker. I am the Chief Deputy of your Dark County Sheriff's Office. And uh, Kelly asked me to stop by and uh, say a few words and maybe talk to you a little bit about, uh, a little bit about um, the, the dangers of uh, uh, substance abuse and th those types of things. And I'm gonna probably take another turn in a different direction. Uh, because I think you all probably know what the dangers of drug abuse is because uh, if you didn't you wouldn't be here and you've heard adults tell you this now for a long time most of you as students and uh, I'm not going to spend time today really talking too much about that I do want to tell you something I've looked at some numbers and in 1980 in 1980 Dark County had a population high of 55,000 people in 1982 the Dark County Sheriff's Office opened up the jail that exists today and it holds 36 people. And when it first opened in 1982, we barely housed very many people there, which was a good thing. The problem is, is our population is now 51,000, about, about 4,000 less than it was in 1980, and our jail is full every single day. There's 36 people in our jail every single day. This has been going on for a couple of years now. And on top of that, we have 15 people spread out in other county jails because we don't have enough room. Whoever thought that in Dark County, Greenville, Ohio, we would ever have uh, our jail would ever be full, let alone we'd have to get, uh, send people to other counties because we didn't have enough room. I am going to tell you the reason our jail is full is because of drug and substance abuse. If we could eliminate drug and substance abuse in our community, our crime would be cut in more than in half. Um, the goal of the sheriff's office and the jail is to be out of business. We don't want people in our jail, right? Okay? So that starts with you. And here's where I'm going to switch some things. I'm going to say, if you see something suspicious, because law enforcement, the Greenville Police Department, your school resource officers, the Dark County Sheriff's Office, and all the other police departments in the communities you live, we can't do this by ourselves. So solving crime stopping crime stopping substance abuse it's a community-wide problem it's not just a law enforcement problem and that's just a small part of what we need to do so here's where i say if you see something say something call it in darkcountycrimestoppers.com you can go there and submit an electric electronic anonymous sub tip if that's what you want to do you can contact uh, our dark county crime stoppers not anonymously that number is five four seven 1661 547 1661. You can always contact your local police department, and that's my little uh, public service announcement about helping us solve crime so we can make your community safer. But here's what I really want to say, and the most important thing is why I think all of you are here is if we want to stop this substance abuse culture that has creeped into our community, has created this issue that we face, along with all the other issues. It starts with all of you. You have the opportunity to lead the way and change this culture starting now by making good, healthy decisions. So here's my positive. You guys have already taken the step. You stepped up. You signed up for this group. We are the majority, and I am so impressed and so proud of all of you for making that decision to step up and stand out. And you're leading by positive peer influence. You are influenced the other children, those younger than you, those the same age, by choosing to publicly say, I am not going to tolerate this. I'm not going to make these decisions. And part of not being a substance abuser is making positive, healthy choices. Right? Eat well. Sleep when you should sleep. Do your studies when you should do your studies. Exercise. Get out. Do positive things. Choose not to do the substance abuse, but rather do something healthy. And I want to add one more thing in this society. Living a healthy life is not just about your physical body, but also your mind and your spirit. So your mind is your mental health. I want you to think about this. When you go back to school, all right, think of inclusion rather than exclusion. We need to bring more students in. If you see a student sitting by him or herself, she doesn't look like or he doesn't look like he's socializing, maybe they don't have very many friends, maybe they are new to your community. Invite them in. Include them to be a part of your positive, healthy group by making healthy decisions. And when we bring these folks in, your organization grows bigger and exponentially. 
And that's what we want you to do. So keep up the good work. Invite more friends to come in and be a part of We Are the Majority. And you should all give yourselves a hand because I am so proud of you. Thank you so much for what you did. School and with all the great information coming out today and prom coming up and everything, I just wanted to talk really quick about a pretty common drug here and everywhere, which is alcohol. So alcoholism and alcohol-related health issues are actually the number one public health concern in the United States currently, but research says that open communication about a healthy and responsible attitude regarding alcohol use for underage kids can actually help to prevent alcohol abuse. Kids who have a conversation with their parents about the dangers of drug and alcohol use are 50% less likely to use than kids who do not. So for any of the parents that are here today, we encourage you to be open and honest with your children about drug and alcohol use. If there's a history of addiction in your family, <laughs> make sure to tell them about it and help them to be aware of the possible dangers that they may face because of that. And remember to keep all alcohol and prescription drugs locked away out of sight from children because there can be strict penalties for parents who allow their children to use. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Autumn Dickey, and I'm a seventh grader at Greenwood Middle School. And being part of the of We're the Majority has been a big part of my life because I take the stance to be drug and alcohol free. I have seen what dangerous drug, drugs have been taken apart on people in our community, for some, and it is important to make a difference. Life is sometimes hard enough, but putting drugs and alcohol into someone's life only makes it harder. Opiate abuse has been an issue in the state of Ohio, so I want to share ways we as a community, under supervision of parents, can help decrease the abuse of pain medications by the following tips. So secure. Safeguard all of your prescription and over-the-counter medicines in a locked cabinet, drawer, or safe that is inaccessible to others. Monitor. Make notes of, make note of how many pills or the amount of liquid in each medicine bottle you have in your home. Keep track of refills and be sure you control any medication that is prescribed to your child. Dispose. Take advantage of the many drug drop boxes, boxes and, and drug take back days that are available across the county. Dep dispose of unused, unwanted, and expired medications. What I have here with me is a medication disposal system. And it's very sim simple to use. All you got to do is open the pouch and mm. carefully put in the unused medications up to 10 pills or two used hormone patches. And then fill the bag with about one third full of warm water and seal tightly, and then disposal, dispose it in the normal trash can. <coughs> Ian Ridgeway from the Tri-County Board is here with the medication disposal bags, like I just said. And this, these help you to remove any unwanted or unused medications that you may have. The local drop box for our community is the Greenville Police Department, right, around, right here around the corner from where we stand. Please feel free to drop off any pills bottles in the original container at this location anytime 24 7. Thank you for being part of the change, being responsible, and disposing of your medication properly today. Hey everybody, I'm Will Coomer. I'm a senior at Greenville High School and I just wanted to talk about how uh, making positive life choices positively impacts your life. And uh, I'll start out kind of uh, I started, you know, I went to Montessori until eighth grade, but I started playing sports for Greenville in seventh grade. And the first time somebody asked me to come to the party was in eighth grade. And of course, I really had no idea what that meant. And, but I asked my parents about it, and they said, you know, well, it's probably a good idea. And I said no for the first time. But that definitely hasn't been the first time. It continues for, I see we have a great variety of age here today. And, uh, that people asking you to come to parties, uh, taking part in whatever, illegal activities, it definitely continues and grows the older you get. Uh, so the way I say no is just if somebody asks you, you say, you know, that's not what I'm about. 
I like to stick to my studies, I play sports, but I'm not really going to come to a party. So uh, you just have to keep saying that and eventually it'll, they'll stop asking you and now I may get asked every once in a while just because my friends want me to come. I even, like I said, uh, I have friends who are still my very good friends but they choose to take part in party and they know that I don't want to do it and they respect the decision. So that decision to say no, the more you do it, the easier it gets, the more your friends will respect it. And then uh, also, when you decide to say no to partying, that opens up more space in your life for more positive activities like say, uh, you're behind in the subject, you want to catch up, do better in school. So the more you study, the uh, better grades you get in school. And from deciding to stay home and whatever, partaking in my studies, uh, working towards getting the highest grade I can, uh, Eventually, for me, it's worked out that uh, I can be our school valedictorian. So that's just one example to show that if you stick to your studies, you know, try to avoid the negative activity that's going to, you know, hurt your life or could eventually hurt your life in the future. That's one example of how you could uh, be positively impacted. And I just want to say, a lot of kids my age are unsure whether they should partake in it or not, or they want to go to a party because their friends go. But I think the safe decision is to just avoid it because even though you may not die and it, whatever, you may not even be negatively impacted, there's the chance that you could, whatever, something drastic could happen to you. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. And uh, that's all I'd like to say. Thank you, for everybody, for coming. My name is Emma Tutwiler. I'm Eli Flanay. And we are eighth grade, we are the majority students at Greenville Middle School. Uh, we participate in the school program and we meet every Monday at lunchtime. Our goal is to bring awareness to those around us about the effects and dangers of drug and al drugs and alcohol and to, pro to promote a no drug, no underage drinking world. Not only that, but all we are the majority members take a pledge to stay drug and alcohol free. <coughs> if you haven't taken this pledge, we invite you to take it today. We, we are the majority, recently put on a small play about drug and alcohol situations for some of our elementary students about drug and alcohol situations. Also, on Tuesdays, we are the majority members help with Latchkey, which is a <coughs> program for ele Greenville Elementary students to come and do fun activities with our leaders. We are the majority also hosted this year's Mother's <coughs> Sundance, and it was an honor to be asked to help us. Okay, thank you for coming out today, and have a good day. My name is Mike Ayette, and I represent the Tri-Village Middle School. Our We Are the Majority program at Tri-Village just started up about the beginning of the second quarter last year. And ever since then, it's been growing and adding more people who want to help our young leaders to live a drug-free lifestyle. Every Tuesday at lunch, we meet with our sixth grade partners and help them with their work, do activities from the Positive Decisions book, or just have an all-out fun game day. It's been a blast connecting with the young leaders and helping to prepare them to help lead other kids like themselves in the future. At this time, we will hear from some of our young leaders about what their favorite parts of majority are.
And Reese, if you want to come up here, if you filled out your name over at the Andy Oakley statue, then your name should be in here, and we will draw. Um, thank you to a coalition for Healthy Dark County for donating these prizes, and we will go ahead and do the drawing. Okay, so the first person is Megan Lynn. Whoa! All right, Megan. Person is Bowen. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. B O W E N. We have Bowen. There you go, Bowen. <laughs> Our last and final is Jolene Stewart. to be a part of our community. We have a lot of great things going on. We have a lot of strong leadership out here. Please use your voice and stick true to your mission to being drug and alcohol free as teens. And we also want to let you know that we have some snacks provided again from the Healthy Coalition of Dark County. We have some hot dogs and water. And then from Whirlpool, thank you again for coming this year. We have some lovely snacks over there as well. I want to thank all of our partners who came out today, all of the kids who got up early this morning on a day off of school to come participate in this walk. So once again, you guys are all amazing. Thank you.